Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey took on Ashland in their home opener. First period, nearing five minutes left. And Kirk will put it around the boards. Mayo getting involved in the action. A shot here, and that's a goal! The Hillers are on the board first. That was Jake Weinstock letting it rip. Good work behind the net. Ashland responded with 34 seconds left. Off the faceoff, the Clockers find their ace. Left in the first period. Penalty will continue on into the second. Over to Hornung. Rister, goal! Work tied up. Jackson Hornung makes it 1-1, one one, heading to the second period. About four and a half minutes into the second period, the Hillers went on a tear. Pass around the boards to Rogers. Rogers was trying to get it out in front to Hamlet. Hamlet now out in front, shot there, and that's a goal! Sean Walsh with a beauty of a shot. What a great setup. Yeah, great passing play all around. Puck behind the net up to Hamlin, Hamlin right out front. And the key to that was Walsh getting rid of it quick before the bodies could get over there to block that one. Nine and a half left in this second period. 2-1 Hillers lead. Here comes Aiden Walsh up the near side, showing off some speed. Now behind the net is Rogers. Shot there, and that's another Hillers goal. And that is going to be Kyle Rogers that time, making it three to one. Made a real great play to avoid a check coming out from behind the net and was able to control the puck still and put that right between pads. I'd say Hopkinton has certainly won the possession battle so far in the second period. Hamlet up the far side, here comes Walsh rushing in, another goal, how about that? Sean Walsh with his second of the night. Wow, it's a scoring fest for the Hillers in the second period. Blackers might take a timeout here, try to regroup. The Hillers are just all over them. 4 1 Hopkinton. 4 to 1 Hillers is how the score stayed heading to the third period. Just over 10 minutes into the third period, Sean Walsh made his night even more memorable. And Gilbert was looking for the shot, but too many defenders in the area. Zaporoshitz. Zaporoshitz lets it launch, and then. It is going to be put in by Walsh. And a hat trick. Walsh had a big wide opening right in front of him, and he almost missed the puck, but was just able to tip it in. And Sean Walsh has a hat trick. As you mentioned, Eric, what a game he is having. Nice, yeah, just the Hillers were all over that, getting the puck right out front, and that's what you do. You go to goal when that puck's going out there, and get the nice bounce, it was right there to put it in. I think we know who's getting the three stars this game. The hat trick for Sean Walsh and the win for the Hillers. Hopkinton takes down Ashland 5-2 and improves to 2-0 on the season. It was a night of Hillers domination against a talented Ashland team. Hillers swimming is off to a nice start. The Hiller boys and girls are both 2-0 in league meets with wins over Norton and Medfield. Hiller's girls basketball picked up an overtime win at home versus Holliston this past Tuesday. Sophomore Caroline Connell knocks down the go-ahead three in overtime to make it 32-30 Hiller's and that's how the score would stay. Caroline Connell finished with a team high eight points as the Lady Hillers improved to 3 0 on the season. The Hopkinton Hillers boys basketball team defeated Holliston on the road by a final of 74 63. Coach Keene's Hillers are now 1 1 overall. Hopkinton Hillers boys and girls indoor track. Also stand at both 2-0 and o after taking down Ashland and Medfield so far this season.
the Dover Sherborne Hopkinton girls co-op hockey team also off to a good start with two wins and two losses. Hiller's Wrestling also has two wins and two losses so far this season. It's been a nice start to the winter season so far for the Hopkinton Hillers.